Southern New Jersey has a few special features. Of course, we have great beaches. And then when you go into the Pine Barrens, there are some awesome opportunities for kayaking and water sports. But one of the things that you have to do every summer is go blueberry picking. The sandy soil in this coastal plain region makes it especially good for growing cranberries and blueberries. We belong to a CSA, which stands for Community Supported Agriculture Group. We buy in every winter, and then throughout the summer and fall, we get to go pick up our share of whatever was grown on the farm. And one of the extras that you can do is blueberry picking. We are very South Jersey today. We got our blueberries, we've already eaten a, a good amount of them. I packed a lunch and Patrick is putting the kayaks on the car right now so we can go kayaking. I think the only thing more South Jersey would be if we went to the beach, but it's going to be super crowded today, so we're going uh, offshore. Summer in New Jersey offers a lot of opportunities for water sports. Of course, going to the beach is the most popular event in the summer, but if the beaches are too crowded, we like to head inland. Today we were going to Wharton State Forest, which is right in the heart of the Pine Barrens. There are many rivers that you can paddle, and there are also a lot of lakes. So today we decided to go to Atzeon Lake. I've never gone down here. No. Uh -uh. I've never kayaked in Atzeon Lake. Yeah. Me it's just a lake, right? It's not. As far as I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We dropped off the kayaks at the boat launch, and then Pat moved the Jeep over into the parking lot, and we got ready to launch the kayaks. While I was waiting for him to come back, I found a wild blueberry bush growing right next to the side of the lake. And yes, that is the normal color of the water here. In South Jersey, we have a lot of cedar bogs. So this is what we call cedar water. It has a brownish red tint to it because it has a high number of tannins. There's also a lot of iron in the water in South Jersey. So in the shallower parts, it takes on that very interesting color. But once you get into deeper water, it looks pretty normal. If you're looking for whitewater and rapids, South Jersey is definitely not the place for that. But if you're looking for somewhere to take a leisurely paddle or to float down a river, this is a great place to find that. There are so many lakes and a lot of them are fed by rivers that depending on how much rainfall we've had can be a really nice float to just head down with the current but if you want a little bit of an arm workout, of course, you can always head upstream or upwind and you will definitely feel like you got some exercise. As you paddle around the perimeter of the lake, there are Lots of little coves and inlets that you can paddle into. Some of them get pretty shallow, so you have to watch out that you don't bottom out. But it's neat to check out some of the fallen trees. And my personal favorite is to 
float right along the edge and look for carnivorous plants because we actually have a lot. The wet soil of South Jersey has all sorts of pitcher plants and sundews and things that are looking for a meal at the water's edge. All along the sides of the lake there are these sundew plants which are carnivorous plants which I just think is the neatest thing. You actually find them a lot of places in South Jersey all along like ponds and rivers. There's a big one over there. So neat. And here's another really neat carnivorous plant. It's a pitcher plant. kind of at the back of the lake where it gets fed by the river and it's so nice back here not as crowded nice and quiet one of my favorite things about any kind of outdoor activity is exploring somewhere that I've never been before when we got to the back of the lake we paddled up the river that feeds into the lake just to see what was up there we went up as far as we could until there was a downed tree and we had to turn around and head back into the lake. We stopped at this little beach to take a break and stretch. And now I think we're going to head back to the car and we packed a little lunch. I'm going to go get some pretty late lunch. It's after three. And now that we've worked up an appetite. those outdoor skills. <laughs> we paddled our way back over to the boat launch at Atsiam Lake and Pat went out to get the Jeep and bring it back so that we could load the kayaks up, but we weren't ready to go home yet. We've gotten in the habit of bringing some of our camping gear, or really just keeping it in the back of the Jeep. So we have our camp stove and we have stuff to make coffee anytime we're out so that we don't feel like we have to rush out to find something to eat or rush home. We can really relax and take our time and just enjoy being outside, but have a couple comforts. We spent some time relaxing in our hammock and probably fell asleep for a little while, but we woke up to the sound of these huge wings flapping. And when I looked up, there were a group of vultures that were flying from tree to tree right over us. They were pretty amazing to watch. The bird wake you up? Yeah, their wings are ridiculous. I heard them like flapping and then I started trying to follow them. They're huge. Yeah. It wouldn't be a day in South Jersey if we didn't have a few ticks. So this is the third one and this one's a small one. That's a deer tick. At least I found it. We left the Atsian picnic area and headed out of Wharton State Forest back toward the tiny house. We wanted to take full advantage of these long summer days and we had some important plans for dinner. We have never used a charcoal grill before and today was the day that we were going to test it out and see if we really liked charcoal better than cooking with a gas grill. We're gonna try something we've never done before which is cooking with charcoal. Yeah. So this will be interesting. So give it a shot. This is a collapsible charcoal grill that is portable, made by LifeDo. So what holds it is my question, you see? I don't think anything holds it. Look, there's just like a little lip. Sweet. Oh. You excited we're grilling? Yeah. You hope we drop a hot dog, right?
It does smell like summer at the lake. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Distinct memory. Okay. Didn't burn the house down. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually worried about putting it on the picnic table, but mm. it's plenty of clearance. Yeah. It'll be totally fine. Yeah. You gonna do some hot dogs on yeah. that one? Do like half and half. Yeah. The taste test. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna see if we can take some of the coals and throw them in the oh. fire pit and get our fire pit started because we just got new gravity chairs. Everything we cooked on the charcoal grill came out very tasty. And the added perk is that we can use the coals after we're done cooking to get our outside fire started. So that's pretty nice. This is our new outdoor seating setup. Well, kind of updated. So this is the same swing that we've had for, gosh, like six years now, because this was a birthday yeah. present for my 30th birthday. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> this spring, the, like the fabric on the bench that makes the swing finally dry rotted and fell through. And we were trying to figure out how we could replace it. We were looking into all these different options, trying to like, I don't know, weave a rope through it or something to make a new seat. And we couldn't figure anything out. And we didn't want to get rid of the top part because it's what we use for our bug net because the mosquitoes get really bad out here. So we took, this was Patrick's idea, we took the uh, swing out, unhooked it. Redford now has the cushion as his outside bed, which he really likes. He's a big fan of that. And then Pat went out today and got these two gravity chairs and just stuck them under the awning for the swing. So it actually works great. And these chairs are so much more comfortable because we can recline. So uh, I think this is an upgrade. Tractor supply. Tractor supply. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they were like 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 bucks each. And uh, I didn't have to get the ones with the couple going every other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe your priorities, you already have a cup holder. But the bug net is essential to mm. being able to like sit out here and actually enjoy being here because the mosquitoes get pretty bad. So, glad that we still get to keep the bug net. Thanks so much for being here and spending this beautiful summer day with us here in South Jersey. We hope you will subscribe to come back for our future videos. We have lots of travels with our scamp trailer coming up, including a trip to Assateague. The next president to be The news and watch hear your career It's time for you to face those fears And it's all fair To be aware and I'll be there So don't be scared Just take a deep breath of air And one, two, three to ten You begin to focus again And though time flies We'll have enough to realize Bigger than the both of us